Here we are again back to Lindome Lakes near Epworth, Doncaster. And I've fished on the famous Benny's Lake, which is the lake right at the back of the complex that is full of F1s and carp. I've brought you down here today to show you the new Acolyte commercial feeder rod. Now this is a nine foot rod. It is fantastic for fishing up to islands and fishing shore where you're catching commercial carp and F1s as well. There's a number of advantages when you're using a nine foot rod. Probably the main one is being able to net the fish very quickly. Because the rod's shorter, the fish comes up much closer. So when you're catching carp and F1s, you can net them really quickly. So you can catch quicker in a match situation when you've got a nine foot rod. The other advantage as well, when it's really windy, you can tuck that rod in close to the bank. It's not wind affected. And today on the lakes, there's been a lot, a lot of wind. And being able to fish that short rod closer to you, there's less movement in the rod. It's easier to detect bites. There's two main methods on commercials that work really well. One's bomb and pellet, and often when you're fishing with a straight lead and fishing with a bomb, you're only fishing as far as those pellets will travel. If you're fishing out in the lake, you can only fire the pellets a certain distance. So a shorter rod is again a big advantage. Also, there's a lot of fish caught now, especially late on in competitions, fishing down the margins and that's one place that I've had to fish today to catch a lot of the weight of carp and F1s that I've caught. Of course, when you're faced with an island in front of yourself, a lot of these lakes with island are quite short distances. A shorter rod is much, much easier to use because you've got less carbon, you've got less bend of the rod. So when you punch that feeder across to an island and stop the feeder, it plops in every time in the right place. It's more accurate when you're fishing to an island. What we've actually changed with the commercial rods is that the more tippy, the action of the rod is slightly more forward. And of course, the other part that we've changed is the quiver tips. The quiver tips are now shorter. So when you're casting, you're casting more off the blank of the rod. And this makes casting much easier and much more accurate. Often when you're fishing with a method feeder, you, what you're doing is you're flat casting. So your feeder is traveling quite flat across to the island. And that's where you get, when you stop it, it plops in. If you cast up in the air, then you're not as accurate. And also you don't get the plop of the method feeder right. All of the commercial range of rods come with three quiver tips, an extra soft, a soft and a medium, and they match the rods, all of the rods perfectly. All of the commercial rods have oversized eyes and it's the same with the nine foot. The eyes are much bigger than what they are on our normal acolyte range. And this helps when you're using bigger diameter lines. Even with the nine foot rod, you can easily use an eight pound main line, which will travel through the eyes easily. Don't think just because you've got a short nine foot rod that it's not capable of landing big fish. I've had fish close to 20 pound with these rods because they're built for catching big weights of bigger size fish. Lindome Lakes has delivered again. It's also delivered loads of wind. I don't know why, but every time I step out of the house at the minute, we've blown off the bank. But it's been a great day's fishing. 
Today I've finished up swapping about between the method feeder and the straight lead. Both techniques have caught fish today and I really don't know which one was the best to be honest. But I've had a fantastic catch of F1s and two or three carp as well. Anywhere where you've got these type of fish, these commercial rods will work brilliantly. 